It's now been close to eight months since Joe Takuda officially took office as one of Hawaii's two U.S. representatives in Congress. I recently got a chance to visit her office and see how she's making the adjustment to living in Washington, D.C. Every morning, U.S. Representative Jill Takuda makes a 20-minute walk from her apartment to work. There's this surrealness of realizing that that's where I get to work. That's, that's where I get to, you know, um, you know, be a part of. And so there, I would say almost daily there are those kind of pinch me, you know, chicken skin moments where you realize I, I got here. When Jeff Takuda was at Castle High School, her first trip to the mainland was here, to the U.S. Capitol. She remembers putting her hand on a desk and whispering, I'll be back one day. And sure enough, 30 years later, here she is. A real local girl, Takuda always has to take off her shoes before sitting down to work at her desk. In her office is a mixture of mementos. A big Star Wars fan, she has a baby Yoda. There's a Spam Musa B dog and a children's book about Hawaii Congresswoman Patsy Mink. The book, Fall Down Seven Times, Stand Up Eight, helped inspire Takuda to get into politics. And I'll be honest, that was my aha moment. Sitting there next to my kindergarten classroom at Connery Elementary School, reading about Patsy and how as many times as she was beaten down, you know, not allowed into medical school, lost elections, she found a way to, you know, stand right back up and, you know, also balanced being a mother and a lawmaker. Perhaps her favorite office item is a painting of eight Hawaiian warriors by local artist Brooke Parker. I've always had this one painting that I wanted up. I have literally got eight Hawaiian warriors sitting behind me during all my meetings. They got my back and that's, you know, so many people have commented on the power and just the strength that they feel from it. They love it. Takuda keeps two clocks on the wall to help keep track of the six hour time difference. She says it can actually be a good thing. It helps though being in D.C. because I can literally wait into the afternoon, early evening Is that good? Uh, when we have a little bit more time to be able to do these callbacks to constituents and connect with our, our communities, whereas most people here are going to be packing it up for the day. I can literally lengthen our business day by a good six hours. I know you're heading to work and you're driving right now, so keep your eyes on the road and I'll give you guys a call tonight. I'll Daily video to chats help Takuda stay in touch with her husband and two teenage sons. She also tries to fly back okay, weekly. I love you. I'm very blessed. They really saw this as an opportunity for me to go do my dream. And then that's really how they, they put it to me when I asked them, could I even run for this position? And we talked about the realities of what it might look like, you know, me being away or would they want to move here? And we had that conversation as a family. And so, you know, I think every time I go home, we have some kind of talk. Hi. Despite being nearly 5,000 miles away from Hawaii, Dakota is determined to stay connected to both her family and her constituents. Um, I remember Governor Abercrombie, right from my member of Congress, he, he told me, um, you know, after I won, never forget, this is work. This is where you work. Hawaii is home. And I always really took that to heart as being very important. Never forget where your home is. Um, it's where your family is, it's where the people you love are, the community you're attached to, you come from. And so for me, it's always about getting myself back home. It was not an easy route, um, but I'm here and, and excited, excited because there is so much, there's so much that we can do. Okay, so we're just faking. It was kind of fun to visit her in her office yeah. in D.C. And she seems to be making the adjustment to living there fairly well. Yeah, yeah. and you know, I'm sure she misses a lot about home, but did she <laughs> mention anything in particular? You know what she misses? She misses bentos. Oh, she says that's... whenever she flies back, her husband has to have a bento waiting for Aww. her when he picks her up at the that's airport. That's so sweet. Yeah, good husband. <laughs> Don't blame her. All right.